lot can happen between now and November, but if the trends continue, Rand Paul could well be the next U.S. Senator from Kentucky. He still has to get by Trey Grayson in the Republican primary and the Democratic nominee this fall, but Rand Paul is already talking about the national role he would play as Senator. WHAS 11's political editor Joe Arnold is here with that story. Joe? You know, ABC's Sunday morning news show this week has already booked Rand Paul for the weekend after the primary. He is no stranger to the national spotlight. But how does Kentucky now fit into his big aspirations? I asked him, if you aim to be the national leader of the Tea Party, are you pondering a run for president next? I, I want to be a leader, not only in the Republican Party, in our country, but also a leader from the Tea Party movement that helps bring the Republican Party back to its roots. Rand Paul is not satisfied to simply be the junior senator from Kentucky. I will lead a Republican coalition and hopefully some Democrats that introduces a balanced budget. With Paul the darling of the national media and riding the crest of a national anti-establishment wave, here's a question. Where does that leave Kentucky if he's elected? Will you still fight for Kentucky in Congress and the Senate if you actually are fighting this national campaign? Absolutely. I think everything I talk about is for those of us in Kentucky. I say let's try to leave more money in Kentucky. Primary opponent Trey Grayson says yes, Washington is broken. But Republicans, he says, should ask themselves two questions before they vote. Who's in the best position to fix Washington, and the second is who's going to fix it the right way. Grayson argues that Paul's campaign success is due primarily to his father, libertarian icon Ron Paul's out-of-state donor base and media connections. What good, Grayson argues, is Paul's outsider status if he's so far outside the loop that once in office, he's irrelevant. I've got a track record of being different. And that's, that's what those voters who are looking for an outsider or are looking for something different to shake up Washington, I'm going to be the much better, in a much better position to do all that. But I also have the relationships with the folks who are there so we can get things done. I'm not going up there to be part of the system. I'm going up there to fix a broken system before it's too late. But if you can't do that, if the system is the way that it is, and you can't have that effect if, there. I'm just, I'm just saying, but in the interim pardon. then, if the what system, are you willing to give up for Kentucky? If, in the, the if the system remains as it is, and we have to acknowledge that before we get started in the election, before I win anything, that the system will not change, then I wouldn't run for office. Well, the latest WHS 11 Courier Journal Bluegrass poll has Paul up by 16 points. And tonight I wanted to put into context part of my interview about that poll with Trey Grayson on Wednesday. I talked to him inside his campaign RV during that torrential thunderstorm. And watch now as lightning struck right when I told him his poll numbers. Is, is there any irony in the lightning striking at that moment? I don't know. <laughs> Now, what happened there is that my original story about those poll numbers right. was posted across the country. The Washington right. Post blog put it on there, mm -hmm. did not pick up on the lightning strike, thought that Grayson was smirking about the poll numbers, wanted to point out that uh -huh. he was actually reacting to lightning striking right outside the vehicle, uh -huh. but it wasn't a very good sign. That just maybe wasn't a normal ball. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that came out of the heavens. Exactly. Well, talk about Mitch McConnell effect here for a second. Yeah. Uh, he, he boasts in his aunts that he doesn't um, give endorsements much in primaries, and yet he is with uh, Trey Grayson mm -hmm. on this. Uh, any effect at all here? He did it about two weeks before the primary mm -hmm. itself. And two things. First of all, it may have been a little bit, you know, too little too late, even though it's a big endorsement. But secondly, keep in mind that Mitch McConnell is the establishment figure in this right. entire race. This appears to be an anti establishment year. It might not be exactly the kind of name you need. Well, could have Trey, however, but Trey Grayson needs to stir up the base that does support Mitch McConnell. It probably is the best thing that he can do among his particular constituents. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very interesting race. No question. The nation, nation is finding out. Like and right that. now, uh, Joe is blogging about the U.S. Senate race on the political blog at whas11.com. All new today. See which Democrat is getting the endorsement of MoveOn.org. And join us Tuesday for complete coverage of the Kentucky primary. Primaries here on WHAS 11 and WHAS 11.com. We will have crews across the Commonwealth with the candidates. Joe is anchoring three hours of live continuous coverage beginning at 6.30 p.m. That is Tuesday night. And you can see that on 11.2 Insight. That's Insight Channel 432 or Comcast Channel 207.